This question is an application of differentiation question. I think it's probably a little bit on the hard side, but it's very interesting, so let's have a look and see what we can find out. A rectangle is drawn inside part of a circle. Here's the rectangle, and here is the part of the circle in green here, okay? This upper half, this semicircle above the x-axis. The circle is x squared plus y squared equals 4, as shown below. Uh, the vertices A and B are on the x-axis, here and here, and the vertices C and D are on the curve, here and here, and the coordinates of C are M and N, okay? Got it? Okay, very good. Now, we have to find the area A of rectangle A, B, C, D in terms of M, that's the first thing we have to do, and secondly, we have to find the maximum area and the value of M at which this maximum area occurs, all right? Now, as I said to you, it's probably a bit on the hard side. Not exactly really hard, but sort of halfway between medium and hard. Uh, so I gave it the red light, okay? But it's really good for you to do and practice and get good at this kind of a level of challenge. Let's go. Part A, and here we go. Now, if... Uh, x squared plus y squared equals 4, guys. My objective here is to get y in terms of x because I want the height, right? I want the height and I want to multiply that by the width here to get the area of this rectangle, A, B, C, D. So therefore, y would be, solving for y, we get plus or minus the square root of 4 minus x squared. Now, what do we do with this plus or minus business? Well, the upper half of the circle, where y is greater than or equal to 0, guys, is y is plus, okay, plus the square root of 4 minus x squared. The lower half, which we're not dealing with in this question, would be y is minus the square root of 4 minus x squared, okay? So we only have to deal with the upper half. That's the very first important decision we've got to make here, all right? Now, uh, armed with that bit of information, we can now find the area of the rectangle because the coordinates of C are now M and, not N, but the square root of 4 minus M squared, all right? Great. Now, therefore, the area is going to be the magnitude of AB, okay, the magnitude of this distance here, times the magnitude of this distance here, okay? Now, what's that going to be, guys? Well, AB is going to be 2M, isn't it? Yes. And BC is just the height, which we found out to be, is the y value, which is basically uh, the square root of 4 minus m squared, the y value at c. Right, that's our area, and that's it. Put a box around it, and that's great. So we've done part A. Now we've got to do part B. Part B is where it gets a bit grisly, guys. <laughs> so <laughs> fasten your seat belts. Here we go. A is that thing. Now, we've got to find dA, dM, and set it equal to zero, and then find the value of M, which comes out of that. All right? Uh, all right. Now, that's going to be a product rule. Did you spot that? Two times something times some other function of M. All right? So, let's go with that. Now, it's going to be, I know, yes, I know, just... <laughs> Just get up off the floor, it's all right. Now that's going to be 2 times left d right, which is the left term times the derivative of the right. Now that's the square root of something, something to the half. So it's going to be a half of the something to the minus a half, which is what I've done there, times the derivative of the thing itself, which is minus 2m, all right? So that's the left d right bit. Now here comes the right d left, plus 2 times, that's that 2 there, the right term, which is this square root term, times the derivative of the left term, which is the derivative of m, which is 1. All right? Now, yes, I know it looks pretty ghastly, but we did it, didn't we? We did it just fine. Now, over the screen we go. Now, we better simplify that a little bit, okay? Uh, that's going to cancel out, isn't it? So we can rewrite that as that. All right, now, what we've got to do now is uh, set that equal to 0, which we can do like that. And that actually really makes it very easy because now, now, if we just multiply by this denominator square root term here, multiply both sides by that, the left-hand side still comes out as zero. 
the right hand side comes out very nicely like that you see because 2 times the square root of 4 minus m squared times the square root of 4 minus m squared just becomes 2 times 4 minus m squared okay and that's also equal to 0 so now let's get rid of this bracket here and we get that now we just simplify a little bit and we've got 4 m squared equals 8 therefore m squared is 2 and therefore m would be plus or minus 2 but as we know uh, m has to be greater than 0 the way the drawing was drawn on the previous screen m was a positive x coordinate okay so therefore m has got to be plus root 2 that is fantastic now we've got to find the area the the maximum area at that value of m okay that was our equation for the area and we're going to substitute m is root 2 into that and we're going to get 2 times root 2 times the square root of 4 minus 2 now 4 minus 2 is 2 so that just is root 2 so we've got 2 times root 2 times root 2 which is 2 times 2 which is 4 so there you go there's our maximum area and that's it mighty fine hey wasn't that bad was it it just got a little bit ugly when we were doing that uh, derivative using the product rule okay i hope you got something out of it all the best and we'll see you soon